a song we used to sing back in primary school and it used to go something like but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness self-control then it says i think against this there is no law my name is brian mashigadi welcome to life series Today we head on over to the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 22. And I just came from singing it, so I'm not going to read it, but that's what it says. So we're going to just narrow in our lens, lenses to the attribute of the fruit of the Spirit, that is patience, also known as long-suffering, all right? I'm just going to go quickly to a dictionary definition of the word patience, and it says, patience is the capacity to accept or tolerate delay problems or suffering without becoming annoyed or anxious and just from the definition we know that you have your work cut out for you if you're asking god to give you patience if you're asking god to give you long suffering then you know that you've got your work cut out for you because it is the ability to tolerate or to accept delay or problem um, or suffering without becoming annoyed or anxious and isn't that the big assignment for you and for me i mean our world is bent on convenience where we live right now we are bent on convenience we want things done sasa hivi na kama sasa sama kama sio sasa ni sasa hivi see this we want everything done right now everything expedited we want to pay that's actually why we find ourselves in the trouble of wanting to bribe other people because you want your things expedited nobody wants to wait in line that's why we have a really bad culture where we go to the stores and everybody's trying to see how they can get in in front of you or cut in line whether it's time for voting or doing voter registration we just want to cut ahead of the line and go because we are bent on convenience but then we meet in scripture the attribute of patience or long suffering that we are not so drunk with the idea or the desire for wanting to see our things expedited sometimes we just need to sit back because the lord has laid it upon us reminds me of this portion of scripture in the book of lamentations chapter 3 and it talks about from verse 24 that it is good for a man to sit for a young man to sit patiently for the Lord. Let him um, sit quietly and patiently before the, because the Lord has laid it upon him. To bear the yoke in his youth because the Lord has laid it upon him. Let him be patient. Just previously where we are coming from, we've come from looking at the attribute of peace. And so as you're thinking about the attribute of peace, it comes from the place of abiding, the fruit of the Spirit in all its generality, with all its attributes, come from the place of abiding. If you're thinking about patience, it's also going to come from the place of abiding. How do you abide? How do you have patience? It's just by simply knowing or letting your mind be pervaded by this one thought, that your life is in the hand of God. He knows what he's doing, so I can sit back and relax. If somebody is getting on my nerves, if somebody is really getting to me, I can sit back and wait. Because eventually, God is going to get into the situation and work for my good and for your good. And so patience is something that every one of us needs to cultivate. Patience. Oh, may the Lord help us. May he give us grace to wait on him more. I also remember the children of Israel when they were taking that long journey through the wilderness for about 40 years going on and on and on and sometimes the Lord would ask them to sit down and they would be camped for a while when I think it would be important for them to want to jump ahead. Reminds me of a time when they were crossing the Red Sea just as they were coming from the um, land of slavery in Egypt. And the Bible says that they had to stand and wait while the children, while the, when the, while the army of Egypt was pursuing them. They had to stop and wait while Moses did the parting of the Red Sea. The Bible says that throughout the night a mighty strong wind came and blew the water so that there was a way that was formed. Imagine what kind of patience that was required because they were being pursued by their enemy. They were still coming. They were not stalled. They were still having to wait for some time. But patience was necessary. And that was before the helper had been released to us. You and I are blessed that we actually have a standby full-time helper, the Holy Spirit, who can help us abide in him and birth this fruit of the Spirit. 
with the attribute of patience or long suffering. May the Lord help us to wait on him because it is those that wait patiently for the Lord that shall renew their strength, that shall run and not be tired. They shall mount up with wings as eagles that shall walk and not faint. I want to mount up with wings. I know you do too. So together, may the Lord help us to have patience. God bless you.